I'm really stoked to uh, get you on again. Thank you for being so last minute about it. Uh, yeah, no problem. But uh, yeah, the the other guy I was gonna have on just canceled on me. So uh, yeah. I I was last night thinking like, okay, who the hell am I gonna have? I I had like a couple of people in mind, but then uh, you know, I I've been meaning to ask you. And uh, I saw that you were on Delco After Dark with uh, Frank and Cara Park. And I'm, yeah. like, I'm like, wow, that would be actually pretty cool because you know, I've been getting a lot of musicians on the show, but I've been trying to really think of like branching out uh, every once in a while and having, you know, people that may have been musicians or like that, you know, I, I feel comedy can kind of and music can co coexist and kind of you know have oh, for some sure type yeah of, uh, transition so I, I i'm really stoked to kind of talk about you know uh your transition from music to comedy and uh, yeah. everything and you know so it, it's going to be a, definitely a fun thing and the for the fact that uh you know just uh it, it's good that our audio is really working you know uh and i'm sure you've done a lot of these certain interviews so i don't have to really uh be too uh, forefront with making sure that this and making sure that I mean no, knowing that yeah. we've, knowing that we've done you know uh, shows all our life it, it's kind of like you know check one check two all right let's go yeah. <laughs> yep exactly yeah that's yeah. cool yeah dude, this is exciting I, I was feeling nostalgic the other day when I did the Delco after dark because we started talking about all the original sins and blue sun coffee house shows yeah and man they were a blast yeah man I I, I love reminiscing on that stuff and uh, you know, it's, it's, it was fun that, uh, you know, I, I know, I know the two other guys in my band were always like saying like, yeah, well, uh, blue suns are a big competition. I'm like, yeah, it's competition, but I mean, they're, they're, they're like, they're our friends too, but like, yeah, but we want to blow them out of the water every night we play. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I mean, I know. Yeah. I feel like that, that competition angle like never leaves either. Yeah. Cause like, I know there's comedians I do that with now where like, we're good friends, but if we're on that same show, man, we're gunning for the, that crowd yeah. response, yeah, yeah, man, and it's, it's uh, it comes from a healthy place, I think. Yeah, yeah, exactly, and you know, it it's always good to have that sort of like competition, <laughs> but it, like you said, as long as it's like you know on like the good health of a nature of of about it, yeah. but. You know, uh, you know, we, we, we've all had our times where, like, when we're younger, we're like, you know, we want to be the best band. We thought we were fucking Metallica back then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, no, we, I know what you, yeah. We thought we were, like, you know, the, we thought we were the shit back then. And, you know, just, uh, you know, that, I think the, the one show that, uh, you know, the uh, one of the many shows that we played with you guys and we shared the stage with you guys, I think it was the media theater. And yeah. That was one of the, one of the shows. I think we started really doing the, uh, the wireless guitars. And mm -hmm. we were just like, you know, Rob was just like, you know, I'm just going to go on the top of that fucking theater and just start like going. I'm like, do what you want. And then, <laughs> and it, cause I, I, I'm not sure if we either had to play before you or play after you. And they're just like, well, they're doing this. So we have to make sure that our, thing is like better than this and i'm like dude let's just play a show <laughs> <laughs> dude you know it's it's like <laughs> for healthy people it's their version it's uh, it's our version of two on two pick up basketball yeah. that's all it is <laughs> <laughs> it's our it's our version of make it take it <laughs> exactly and you know yeah. it, it, it it keeps your um you know creative things going to kind of have those type of you know competition style of things but i mean with, with us being our ages now it's like you know competition doesn't even like reminisce through my mind anymore it's like you know i'd rather be uh thinking on the terms of like helping each other and like you know we're, we're all yeah in it for the same reasons we all want to get to the top exactly so why does that yeah. be necessarily competition if we're all gunning for the same thing you know why can't we all be at that level instead of just trying to be oh i want to beat that person or something yeah no i i feel like everybody takes that approach that whole like oh we got to be better than I, I mean i think i was probably guilty of having those thoughts too um to some extent but like i think somewhere along the line i learned like you know it's better like if one of us wins we all win you know and it's a situation where like if you know original sins broke and like all of a sudden started getting radio play and getting big gigs and then you guys got to choose a supporting act like it could be us and exactly. then all of a sudden we have a bigger following because of you guys and there's like everybody helps everybody kind of thing exactly you know yeah. and uh i mean i always thought you know that 
um, if we really kept at it, I think if we kept at it and we were still a band today, we we would be touring like the North e- like North American yeah. tours and all that stuff. Even even you guys, I mean, if we all kind of kept with it because we were, yeah. you know, really you know gaining traction in our local areas, and you know you and we were always trying to follow you guys, with, especially with the stickers and stuff. We're like like oh that's a great, <laughs> yeah that's a great idea. Like and so we got stickers. And we're like oh we, <laughs> we got that started... and yeah I mean we got that I like. There was a buddy of mine who was in that band Vengeance who was doing that before us. Yeah. We're like, oh, that's a great idea. So it's like <laughs> every it's like a pass it down the line thing. And I just remember me and my friend where it's like, okay, let's just go around and every time they have a sticker, we're just gonna put it right next to theirs. And then like, I oh, would remember seeing them. Like... And I, yeah, <laughs> I'd see it. I'm like, yeah, like it's, after, it's the tag team. After a week, and then every band just started putting stickers around the two of ours. And we're like, okay, this is yeah. going to start getting like really heavy. Cause now you can't even see a stop sign without seeing like stickers all over and all. The, and then there was over. the, this one band. Uh, I don't, I, you probably know people in the band, tough guys take over who would then just cover the stickers. Uh, I with theirs. The name, and I was like, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was called tough guys take over. Um, <laughs> and I just remember, I, I remember running into somebody who was like friends with the band and all like, yeah, we're going to cover all their stickers. It's like, we're talking about stickers. How about we right. learn a song? Right. How about we learn? Yeah. yeah how about we learn? <laughs> how about we write a song? Instead, we're just driving around Delco for three hours. Right. Like, so you guys can bring out the five people that show up to your shows. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like Even somebody, we... like somebody saw it on a stop sign. I was like, Oh, I got to go see that band. Yeah. I want to know how many people in that time just actually were stopping at a stop sign like, oh, Blue Sun. Oh, what what, what the about? tiny little writing underneath it? MySpace.com <laughs> slash, yeah. Honey, what's a MySpace? Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I still see the stickers from time to time. I do too. And it, yeah. it, 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 it I crack up every time. It's yeah. awesome. <laughs> it, yeah, it's, it's like one of those things that like i hope they just like never re- replace a lot of those uh stop signs because it's like something that will always you know uh oh, for sure bring us back to like those type of times and it's awesome <laughs> it, it was the best times it was seriously the best time and when you when you guys were talking about the coffee houses like we we used to pack those plays especially when yeah uh, i think there was one of the one of the couple times like we were playing together and we packed that place like like you couldn't um, walk no and it, it yeah. was it was awesome and th- there had to be like what that place probably fit easily maybe 60 to 100 people and we were probably trying to inch like 200 people in there yeah dude it was <laughs> Some, awesome at least something of that and it was you know and it, it was it was great yeah <laughs> and it, we probably would have we we probably uh were playing you know louder than usual that that you can probably hear us down all the way down near that uh wawa on uh yeah. <laughs> Walmart pike but you know we didn't care we were we were young kids we wanted people to hear us you know <laughs> it was yeah that was the best those were the best memories but you know what i was i will say in for rock bands it's a very i feel like a very uninspired time i don't know how you feel about music now mm-hmm. but um I feel like uh, we've kind of lost a step with mainstream rock as to what it is now. It just feels very formulaic yeah. and, and there's no heart to it. Whereas like we were still kind of riding off of like, you know, uh, like Metallica and like, obviously we love like that whole grunge and Alice yeah. in Chains and all that kind of stuff. And that right. early shine down before they were like now shine down. Yeah, like um, a lot of the early '90s and uh, '80 '80s and '90s, you know, rock and metal yeah. bands that you know we kind of grew up on. And uh, I mean, I, I do, I do agree. I mean, today, uh, I mean, there still is like the term going around that you know, rock is dead. But then there's a lot of people saying that it isn't dead. It's just, I think it's just, um, you know, looked over a lot more yeah. than what it, it hasn't really gotten much attention. Cause there's not really any good influential rock bands that you see out there anymore right now. Yeah. At least yeah, mainstream I mean... wise. And, and I don't really listen to too many mainstream rock bands. Uh, I, I still kind of, you know, go back on a lot of the bands that have kind of, you know, put out albums that we've listened to back then. I know uh, Chevelle, they just put out a new album 
And, okay. And, you know, I listen to that and it, I mean, they're still killing it to this day. And, uh, you know, breaking Benjamin, I, I mean, I w- listened to them back then. They're, they're still kind of going and they, they took a, a good hiatus for a couple years, but then they brought themselves back. So, oh, cool. but, but other than, other than that, I mean, there's no like new, like rock, hard rock type of bands that at least I know of that are around the mainstream that are really killing it right now. No, no, I think I feel like most of it is like in the alternative in that indie uh, scenes, like I feel like they're thriving, but there's so much in that scene that's not really worked out. Yeah. And a lot of those bands have like one song. Right. Versus like a full catalog of stuff. Mm-hmm. That's and, generalizing, but yeah. Right. Yeah. And, and and I think it's more of, you know, the, the, the rap scene that's kind of really been taking over uh a lot i mean hence you saw at the grammys you know the the big thing going around the grammys was that whole uh wap song so you know oh yeah so yeah i didn't watch i i cut cable so i didn't uh i didn't watch that all i remember seeing was a bunch of com comments about like things being canceled but that song's like number one and i was like right oh, okay and i was like i guess i never thought of it like that I'm very influenced very easily by whatever's in front of me. Right. So, uh, like, all it would have taken is one article for me to storm the Capitol. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm, kidding. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. Um, yeah. It's it's that easy for some people. Some I'm people the undecided ask. voter. No, no, I'm just kidding. So it was uh, you that told people. <laughs> it yeah, <wasn't> yeah. Trump. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hi guys, you, I'm Q. You were the uh, writer behind Trump's uh, ordeal. <laughs> <laughs> you were in the earpiece. <laughs> uh, it's like funny, but like at the same Jake, time, it's like what you do can't I do even, here? <laughs> you, yeah, you can't even you can't even joke around about it anymore. It's I mean I mean I'm so it's not even something I ever joked around about in the first place because just who it was just so such a uh, a dismal time. And it's got to be hard for you right now being a comedian and knowing that there's so many, you know, sensitive topics and, you know, I can't really say sensitive people, but like there's a lot of sensitive air out there. And especially for comedians, because, yeah. you know, you say one wrong thing and th- it only takes one person these days to just be like, he, he shouldn't be saying that. Or And yeah. so, uh, I mean, I can only imagine how that's kind of influencing your content and, and what you're trying to put out in your shows and like, ah, should I cross that barrier or, or be like, yeah, you know what? Hey, if, I mean, they just got out. Yeah. It's a joke, you know? Well, yeah, I, I, and I think the, I think the issue lies in like, in order to test a joke and like make it good, you have to cross the line um, and fail. So you know where to back it up to, because gotcha. ultimately that's the goal is to like walk the line and like, as far as you can. And, um, it's not necessarily my comedy is more the kind of like, uh, accessible to everyone. Uh, but, um, I feel like a lot of, like a lot of those great comics, that's why like Dave Chappelle or, or, um, I'm trying to think of who else does it. A lot of people will just like, uh, Chris Rock would do it. I think too, where they make you put your phones in a, a locked case when you go see the show, mm. because, when those sets get leaked of them trying something and saying something ter- like, I think there was a, right. I mean, Louis CK is trouble with his own right, but yeah. I really enjoyed his comedy beforehand. Uh, you know, I, I should say yeah. during the incident, yeah. <laughs> um, not knowing, like I didn't realize, you know, that was going on, but like, yeah, when he tried to make a comeback, if you remember, he had a whole bit about like the Parkland survivors being like spoiled or or whining i'm, I'm i don't think like, i saw the comeback one but i mean like like you said i mean i was a i was a fan of his work before knowing about all the allegations yeah. and stuff but i mean i thought you know and, and i i like uh i mean i i love my comedy too i mean i i uh you know i'm a very big Chappelle fan i'm a mm-hmm. chris rock fan you know richard pryor all those guys oh yeah i uh, you know i i've i've been a big fan of bill uh bill burr yeah too. and you know i i i love when you know comics can take you know life situations and then turn them into something funny 
Yeah. You know, instead of it just kind of always being about like, you know, telling a joke out of something, but like taking a real life situation and kind yeah. of making it some something into, you know, either something about their life, but they can still make uh, make it funny and then know, yeah. uh, you know, what's making people uh, laugh. And that's what I mean, I- I'll wait till more. um you know, for tomorrow night, but, you know, I, I definitely want to get more of your thoughts on, you know, it, it, cause I was talking, I was talking to this, but with uh, my wife, and my mom today, cause I was telling them that I'm going to have you on and I was saying, you know, com- comedy is in a way that, uh, you know, for music, you can't necessarily say to somebody like, Oh, uh, you're, you're a really good guitar player. You, you should uh, play a show and you can play a show and just yeah. do that but with comedy you know some people say like oh you're a really funny guy you should be a comedian like yeah it's not, it's not that easy sometimes because you, you no, just can't, it's, it's, you, you can't go on, you, you can't go on a stage and just be like oh how did the chicken cross the road oh, ha, ha, ha. like you yeah. gotta <laughs> yeah. and, well that's my opener right there right. so now i don't know <laughs> well damn it i just gave it away <laughs> <laughs> and, and and i uh it, it's good that i'm gonna have because i mean i've been uh really intrigued to know uh you know what it uh necessarily you know i guess what it takes to be a comedian but like you know what actually makes you know people laugh and you know the difference between somebody just saying like oh yeah i made a couple of my friends laugh but you know but yeah. then you you can't necessarily say that oh he's a com he's a comic yep yeah yeah and i think um there is a there's definitely an important distinction uh between like just being friend funny and you know, being a comedian, but I think it's one of those things. It's like, ultimately what you're trying to get to be when you're on stage is the person you are with your friends. And when mm-hmm. you're first starting out and you have no idea uh, about the situation, you're going to be like full of anxiety and nerves and you're not going to be the person you are with your friends. And you haven't, you don't know how to establish a rapport with a giant audience. So uh-huh. it's just like doing that and then like becoming yourself. Uh, so it's funny. Cause it's like, you have to like learn the craft of all the joke writing and all that stuff, uh-huh. study and watch a bunch of comics, figure it out, figure out what works best for you. And then like you go, you come back to being yourself after you figure all that stuff out and you've worked on stuff and then you work on just being yourself on stage. And that's what ultimately brings, I think success. Right. Uh, right. I feel like I'm giving an interview after a hockey game. It's like, yeah, we went hard in the third period, but uh, <laughs> you know, our goalie was weak, so yeah. and, and we we always gave it 110. percent You got to give it 110 yeah. percent always. <laughs> coach said, uh, "Coach said, uh, good game." So I know I did a good game, and uh, yeah, we're just gonna get it back out there tomorrow, and then do that thing where you're just like, back to you, Wally. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 